Okay, hello everybody. Happy Friday. I got another 50 pieces made. And I got a couple of actual plow assemblies assembled. I got a lot of pieces left to go, but hey, I'm making progress. I got the spring assemblies and the swivels made here today. And today, Deb's going to take a video here and show you. People not quite sure how I cut the steel, so we're going to show you. And there's the pieces down there. So Deb, if you want to hold that and hold it right up close to the shear, you got it? Mm -hmm. Right here's what I start out with a pattern, then I trace it on a piece of metal, and or I have another piece that I've already used, and I tr put that on there, and I trace that. I got a lot more of these to make, dozens of them. So, so that's how it start right there. So then I get come over here, and I uh, start lining up this stuff here. You might be right there, maybe that will even a little bit so I don't get hit by this thing. Okay, so there's the first cut, just to get the excess off. And then I usually start up here at the top, and I make a circle and come around. If there's a little curve, I cut that curve, and I go to the, over to the next curve, and then I go to the next curve, and I go back to the straight part. Like so, and then I go down to the next curve, then I take the widest cut I can get if, if there's a notch right there. And I, if there's another notch here, I right there. And then I come in with this one right there. And I come with another one right there. And that gives me my rough cut. And then I go over there with the sander and I sand all right up to those black lines. So that's that one. So now here on a mold board, what I would do, it's a little bit different, but it's the same idea. So, all right, here we go. First, I take off the biggest piece right there and put that aside. Okay, so now I'm starting up here at the top. And I start right here at the very first corner. And I go come around with a little curve. And I come over and I take the biggest piece right there. First, and I come back and get a big one right there. Then I come back and get one right there. Then I go back right here. And right here I take a big piece where there because there's a little curve there. So then I'll come back and get that little curve right in there. Okay, then I'll come back and get this curve. Okay, so now I'm gonna come around here to the back of the mold board. And I'm gonna take the biggest piece I can take right there. And then I'm going to try to cut a little strips, a couple little strips right there. And then a couple right here. And then one more right there. Whoa. Here, let me get that. There, so that's, that's the two rough cuts. And that's how this thing, this little notch or nibbler, whatever you call it, the little six inch hand shear is what it is. And then I take this over to the sander. And I sand that all smooth and I put the little notch in it. And then I take it over to my bender and I'll bend it four times to get the curve in it. And then, let's see. I come back. I want to come back over here, Deb. Kind of point it towards this bench. We can, uh, let's see. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're, we're, um, I think we're at our limit, so we better go. All right. You want to say anything, Deb? No. How about happy holidays? No? Happy holidays. All right. Gee, that really sounded like... Happy holidays! Oh, that's better.